it seems like we've been Notre Dame has just been in a big game every single week for the last month. Uh, Seven thirty on NBC. <laughs> number ten USC, who is six and zero, at number twenty one Notre Dame, who is five and two. They've played seven consecutive weeks. Yeah. Uh, Notre Dame favored by three. Total sixty two and a half. Obviously, Notre Dame coming off three really hard fought games against Ohio State, Duke, and Louisville, dropping two of them, but they were all close. Louisville kind of ran away from them late, but um. This is where we're finally going to get to see USC, I think, tested. Yeah. Not in terms of, um, I mean, they've been tested, obviously. They went to triple overtime against Arizona last week. Yeah. Um, yeah. They were tested by Colorado towards the end of that game. But this is a legitimate defense and an offense that it's not outstanding, but they can put up points. Um, where are you leaning in this game? No, you start because I'm looking up stuff that I should have already looked up. Um. I'm worried that Notre Dame has played seven consecutive weeks and they've you know, the last month has been all big games nationally televised. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just, I'm off the USC bandwagon. I think it's going to be a really close game and obviously the spread would dictate that. But I just think the defense of Notre Dame has got to come play here and make a couple stops because we know the USC defense isn't going to. No. It's going to be super high scoring. I think that the number of 62 and a half is probably too low. Um, yeah. I think it's going to be a really, really close game throughout. I don't I don't see either team pulling away from one another. Um, because of Caleb Williams in that offense, I think USC will cover the game. I think Notre Dame squeaks this one out. It's going to be a battle, but I've got 35-34 Notre Dame. Okay. Um, I just I hate you. I mean USC's quote unquote defense is yeah. just terrible, and I mean I just can't trust them. And I I can trust Notre Dame's defense to get a couple stops against Caleb Williams in that offense. Yeah, I think that um, Marcus Freeman and Notre Dame, they I mean they've been through the ringer here, huh? Right, like you said, it's like they're in a big game every week. Like they played. Ohio State, and they had Duke, and then they had Louisville. So it's three big games in a row against three really good teams, and you're able to eke out one of those wins. Um, I mean, this team should be four and three, if we're being honest. Or they could also easily be five and two um, because they probably no, you know, they are five and that, two. Well, they yeah, I know. I'm saying they could also like from the same mindset of like they could have lost oh, yeah, two. Yeah. They they probably should have beaten you know um, Ohio State. Ohio State. So they, I guess you say they could be six and one. Yeah, that's what that makes more sense. Um, when I look at USC, Caleb Williams is awesome. He's awesome, and he's probably a better quarterback than Bryce Young was. And he's that offense is so much fun to watch. I tell you what, I've really enjoyed watching is Marshawn Lloyd have like a like a like the career and the, the year he's having. It's like the career we all wanted to see out of him when he came out of Delaware and and went to South Carolina because. It just for whatever reason, whether it's injuries and like an awful offensive line play, um, there was just always something in his way that like from achieving his full potential. And I think he's finally at a place now where he can achieve it. And it's been awesome to watch. Caleb Williams is the best quarterback in the country right now. You know, he's going to be a, a surefire number one overall pick. He's awesome. They've got Unless weapons. He does what he says he did. And if it's the team that he doesn't want to go to, he's just going to stay in school because he can make just as much in NIL, according to him. Sure. Okay. Um, sure. <laughs> sure. You know, you don't have to do in the NFL, go to fucking class. So there's yeah. that. Um, yeah. So anyway, no, but like Brennan Rice has been a lot of fun to watch. The receivers they've got, like they've got talent. They don't have a defense. And then when you look at this, it's like Notre Dame is not a, like, it's not like their offense has been great. Like they, they weren't great against Ohio state. They weren't great against Duke, but, Mike Elko is a pretty good defensive coach at Duke, right? I saw them give up seven points to Clemson. And Ohio State has one of the best defenses in the country. No one's just no one talks about it because of all the offensive firepower they have. And then also because of the fact that we associate that team with only offense over the last like, you know, five to eight years. Notre Dame is a good team. Like I, I think they're pretty fundamentally sound. They play a good brand of football. They have one of the best quarterbacks in the country. Um, they're at home. Massive deal. Massive mm-hmm. deal. 
I don't think I don't think Southern Cal is a top ten team. I, I've been saying it all year. I, I just don't think they're I don't think they're that good. I, like I think that this team is an even worse version of of OU when Lincoln Riley was there in terms of oh yeah man like they put up a ton of points. They don't play defense for shit. Like this is the quintessential old school Pac twelve team where it's like they 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 are going to score forty. They're going to give up thirty eight. They are ranked 79th in the country in yards per carry allowed. Okay. Which is then you want to look at the offense or the, the defense and, and say, like, well, maybe they're really good in the passing game. Maybe we're just running on them. Nope. They are 84th in the country in yards per play allowed. I think this game is going to at least be close going into the fourth quarter and in the second half. I think it'll at least be close because I think Notre Dame plays too good a defense. Who like maybe USC is a better offense than 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 Ohio State. Right. I watched that. that's a very good offense from Ohio State. I watched them struggle mightily in this game. Right. Mm-hmm. I, I think this will be at least a close game. And then you get to the fourth quarter. And I, I know that USC's been in this situation so far because they just had a triple overtime game against Arizona. And the only thing that should ever be triple overtime in Arizona is ballot counting. And that's about it. Okay. Every four years. So there's that. Second off. I don't, that's the clip this week. Um, and then second off, I think that when you talk about like what they're going to want to do in the fourth quarter, it's it's like back against the wall, your season's still on the line. We're going to line up with the best and most physical running back in the fucking country, and we're going to see if you can stop it. And South, like Southern Cal has not been able to stop anything. Anything. Uh, I'm not, I was going to make another joke, but I'm not going to. Uh, so I think Notre Dame – Wins this game in emphatic fashion in the fourth quarter. I think they punish Southern Cal in the fourth quarter. I think it's still close, but I think this is a game where, like, you go into the fourth and they're down twenty-eight to twenty-four, and then the final score is is like a, I don't know, thirty-seven or, or thirty-eight to, to twenty-eight. I, I I think Notre Dame wins this game. I won't say by ten because I think USC will keep it close, but I've got Notre Dame winning. I'll say. 38 to 33. That'd be a fun game to watch. Um, I think, we, I think, I, I don't know. I'm not a Notre Dame fan. I know you're not, but um, it would be nice to see USC get knocked off. Yeah, agreed. 